Hi guys, welcome to a new video. Today I'm going to show you the decoration of my Christmas tree and I'm going to show you store bought traditional sweets. getting ready to let my Christmas tree sit in that space that I have prepared. So we store our Christmas decoration in big boxes and I don't remember the last time where I store what. So what came in my hand first was this angel which I purchased last year. So this is the pot where my tree will stand and I will fill this pot with sand. Unintentionally I just rhymed and that really sounded funny. So this particular bag has sand in it and I'm going to scoop out the sand with a coconut shell so that I can transfer the sand in that particular pot. I have prepared a newspaper funnel so that transferring the sand is clean and easy. Now that the tree is ready, let's get started with hanging all the ornaments that we got in store. Out of all the hanging ornaments, I chose this one to show you. This is a glittery boot. It's golden color, gold and sparkly. We have also a red and a silver boot I presume I don't know where I hung that but this is the whole zest of the glittery boot check out the bling on that boot and we have this gold angel I don't know if the camera is doing justice to show you what the angel looks like. The angel is actually holding a flute. I have many such golden angels hung all over. I chose to show you this one because it has got this ribbon bow and this particular angel is seated on it. Then we have this crystal looking drama boy. Drama boy is a part of Christmas so I chose this one to show you. And we have a tree on a tree. We have this tree with gold sparkle on the bo edges, borders, whatever you can say it. And we have similar kind in red and silver. We have got plenty of snowmen, like showers of snowmen in the house. And we have got cherries too in this box. All of these items are styrofoam based items so they are light and they hang very easily without weighing down the Christmas tree. We go, we have a ho 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 looking Santa. Check out his mouth. It literally looks like he's saying ho ho ho. Even more snowmans. Like I said, many snowmans in the house. I've got a pair of these beautiful looking wreaths that we are going to hang on the wall behind the Christmas tree.
this particular leafless wreath with the candle in between reminds me of the thorn crown which was laid on Jesus' head. And we have these gold reindeers. They look like they are flying, so we thought of hanging them on the wall. This is not chocolate fudge, this is dodol prepared out of coconut and jaggery. This particular sweet dish is prepared out of graham flour. It is crusty on the outside and soft on the inside. The next traditional dish we have is bibik. Bibik has 8 layers and like dodol, Bibik is best prepared on a fireplace like outside your house. That is the traditional way of preparing these two dishes. You cannot prepare it in your oven or on your gas. You can prepare it but it won't turn out as good as you can see here. Then we have plum cake and ribbon cake. Again all my sweets are store bought. Then we have this particular sweet dish which is again prepared by coconut. Coconut is a tropical fruit and a majority of the sweets are prepared with coconut. We have karkal. Karkal is prepared out of flour and sugar. You mix that and you form these shell like shapes. Like macaroni but it is not macaroni. This is deep fried. Then one of my favorite sweet dishes is mazarpan. Mazarpan is prepared out of sugar and uh, cashews I think. It is like how you prepare fondant similar to that. Like you have seen earlier the gram flour sweet dish. This sweet dish is prepared similarly but with coconut. That's all for this video you guys. Stay tuned for the next Christmas Diaries. And until then like, comment below and subscribe without fail hit that notification bell. Thanks. Bye.